Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming soon-to-be tropical storm Josephine in the Atlantic. It could bring impacts to the United States. Not very many, but it could. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with your friends and family, and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. They have a 90% chance uh, within 48 hours and a 90% chance through five days for the system to form. They do mention conditions are expected to become less favorable for development by the end of the week. However, I do think this will still be pretty strong. And by strong, I mean like low-end tropical storm by the end of the week. Let's get right into the models. Latest intensity guidance for 95L, soon-to-be tropical storm Josephine. Most models show it being a tropical, being tropical storm strength, thus it will be named Josephine. However, one model in particular takes it to category one intensity. That more than likely won't happen. It'll more than likely stay a low end tropical storm, low to mid end tropical storm. Some possible paths the system could take are pictured here. Each line is a different path it could take. Most have it curving back out into the ocean and not affecting the U.S. mainland. However, there are some outliers that have it approaching the United States, and we could see some impacts if those actually happen. While it is unlikely, impacts to the United States are very much possible. While things are definitely uncertain, I will be providing updates as we go on. Some more possible paths here. Uh, most of it, most of these here actually show it going near Puerto Rico and continuing west towards the United States, while only one or two have it curving back out into the ocean. The latest GFS run has it going decent. It's a decent system, low-end tropical storm strength as it approaches Puerto Rico. It narrowly misses Puerto Rico and then really dissipates as it moves towards the United States as more of a disturbance than any tropical system. However, it could definitely still bring impacts to the United States if it does hit the United States. Um, it could bring some gusty winds m below tropical storm force, heavy rain, and potentially a tornado or two. But again, that is if the system actually hits the United States. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming tropical storm Josephine. Make sure to like, subscribe, Leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.